Thanks for tuning in. This is the Life of the Miner, and in this video, I'm going to go over the mining difficulty of Zcash and how this will affect the Equihash ASIC miners. So let's check this out. Okay, so first I do want to mention today is September 19th, 2018, and I'm just going to go ahead and go over today's numbers. But of course, down the road, things could change. And I'm just going to go ahead and go over what I think is going to happen down the road. So you should take everything with a grain of salt. All right, so if you did check out the difficulty chart of Zcash, you can see that the difficulty has been skyrocketing. Now, I do want to mention the first batch of Z9 minis did come out at the end of September 2017. And you'll see that this bump right here is more than likely the first batch of Z9 minis. Now it's kind of crazy how the difficulty has been skyrocketing, even though profitability and the mining scene has been dying down. Now for this month, the difficulty started around 16.38 million. As of today, it's around 25.28 million. And more than likely that's the reason because the batch 2 and batch 3 of the Z9 minis came out and of course the Z9s came out as well. Now it's kind of funny how Bitmain named the Z9 minis the Z9 minis because that kind of makes it think that the Z9s already came out and it's crazy how the difficulty is skyrocketing when like I mentioned the mining scene is actually dying down. So they could have just named the Z9 Minis Z9s, and when the Z9s came out, they could have just named those like Z9 Plus. So if they had Z9 Minis, it kind of makes sense that they probably already had the Z9s. Okay, so if history is bound to repeat itself, the Zcash difficulty could follow what happened with the Dash difficulty. So now let's go ahead and check out the difficulty chart for Dash. Let's go ahead and zoom in from here. Now I do want to mention the first batch of D3s came out at the end of September 2017. The second batch of D3s came out at the beginning of October 2017. And let's go ahead and take a three month difficulty change. So from the second batch from October 2017, the difficulty was around 5.56 million. And by the end of December, the difficulty is around 70.40 million. Now that's about a 65 million difference in difficulty. Now there are other Equihash coins that you can mine. For example, Horizon, AKA Zencash. But as you can see, the difficulty for Horizon has been skyrocketing as well. So if you did want to check out the Equihash ASIC miners, now of course there's the Xeon, InnoSilicon, and Bitmain. Now just be aware when the Dash difficulty skyrocketed, it was just the Bitmain E3 ASIC miners that are out. Alright, so now let's go ahead and check out this profit calculator. Now I do first want to mention that this profit calculator is very good because you can actually change the difficulty and it does actually have projections as well with the difficulty change. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go over the stats. Now this is pretty much for a Z9 Mini overclocked. Now you should be overclocking your Z9 Minis because you do want to be most efficient as possible. So overclock, your hash rate should be around 15,000. Let's go ahead and state that the price of Zcash is around $112.06. Uh, let's go ahead and assume you're using around 400 watts of power. And my power cost here is around 10 cents per kilowatt hours. Let's go ahead and state that there's a 1% pool fee. So with these stats, you should be making around $5.80 per day after electricity cost. Okay, so now let's go ahead and assume that the difficulty rises by about 65 million, just like Dash. So let's go ahead and add 65 million from 25, so this will be 90 million. And within three months, if this does happen, you may be making only about 95 cents a day after electricity cost. Now that's of course if the price of Zcash stays the same, but that could change down the road as well. Alright, so I do want to mention that you should take this whole video with a grain of salt. Now this is just predictions that I'm making and this could all be wrong. Um, but of course anything can happen. And I do want to mention uh, we have seen something similar in the past, so you should take that into consideration. But of course, 
Thanks for watching and always happy money.